Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for May 20th through the 26th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. What do we got for Aries for the 20th through the 26th? Remind you that the timing is fluid so this could resonate right now. You know, it's being recorded on the 17th, so you could really say this is from now until whenever. <laughs> okay, so let's just do that. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the week ahead, let's go with that. Justice. What a great start, right? Justice, getting what you deserve. This is making a final decision as well. This is a card of finality. So something is happening that may help you in some way, may help you to bring balance to your life. Now, I think that you have to, you, you may be seeking balance, you know. You probably have this heavy decision on your mind or in your heart. This is a heavy decision. Ooh, Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But this is Libra and this is Libra. But it could be Libra or Taurus. This is change. It's time to take that next step. You are definitely trying to find balance with these two cards. Whew. World card. This is a new beginning. This is the end of one journey and the beginning of another one. One phase of your life is coming to an end. Now this could be a mother. This could be a wife. This could be finalizing a chapter with a wife or a mother. Maybe you're going your own way. This could be you as well, Aries. This could be you taking on Empress energy if you were the woman. She's very nurturing, very caring, very kind. She is unconditional love. She gives birth to a new life. She, she, she's, she delivers a blessing. So we have this person that is blessing you in some way. <laughs> That's what I see. Isn't that funny? Ooh. Something is going downhill or going south. There's like there's no passion. There's no desire. There could be a lack of ambition at this time. Ooh. This is moving in a new direction, though. This is slowly moving forward. Planning. Planning a move. You may be planning a move. Planning a new direction. Planning a new journey. Or starting a new journey. Somebody's been stuck. Somebody has been stuck in a less than fruitful situation, put it that way. I don't know if that is a mother or if it's a wife or if it's you. Somebody is definitely stuck. Mm. Well, there's a divine connection here. There's a deep bond. There's a deep, deep connection with somebody that is meant to be. Absolutely. Soulmate connection, right? This is meant to be. So we have a meant to be connection here. That could lead to, you know, happily ever after. Seriously. But somebody has been stuck. Somebody has been stuck in a situation. Could be with an ex. Could be with... I don't know who. 
If you are this woman, if you are the Aries woman that is taking on this energy, you are being sought after. Somebody is, is coming after you. Somebody sees your beauty. They see your unconditional love. They see your worth. They, they, they think that you are just it. You may not know it, though. You may not know it, but they do think that you are the that you are the mom. Put it that way. If you are the male watching this, this is who you're dealing with. This is somebody who nurtures things. This is somebody who gives birth. She delivers. She she follows through. She has a lot of integrity. So this is a person that does have a lot of integrity. This is a person who. nurtures everything she, she's very very nurturing and other people see it other people they see her beauty so put it that way um this nine of pentacles this reverse tells me that there's insecurities here there's need for discipline you need to take action you need to take action aries you need to take action to get unstuck now some of you this could be your mother You know, I'm just saying, some of you, I mean, you never know. It could be a mother, it could be a wife, I, I don't know. It could be you. Somebody needs to take action to get unstuck. That's what this is, to get unstuck from a situation that has kept them, you know, in chaos. There is an unexpected love here, though. There is love. There is definitely love. There could be an upcoming celebration where you meet your soulmate. Okay, two peas in a pod. You see the doves, and it's, I'm serious. It's like two peas in a pod. You may have already met this person. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is the mother of your children. I don't know. I think it is. If it isn't, they, it probably will be. If you are the male, I don't know. I don't know where that is coming from. I don't think I've ever said that before. Um, we have somebody here that is. making a decision this is making a final decision maybe maybe to get married somebody may may be proposing even this this could already be a marriage this this could be somebody that you're married to and Somebody is getting in a contract, okay? That's what it looks like to me. Somebody may be getting proposed to. Or they may be... Yeah, that could certainly be the case for some of you. Um, this can also be making a decision to go after somebody else. I mean, I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you because this is usually an unexpected choice in love. You don't see this one coming. This is not who you think it is, typically. Typically, it's not. But it's a perfect, perfect, perfect match. If you have been single, if you have been single, you probably aren't going to be single for much longer. You may have already met the one. Somebody may be getting married. Or they may meet this person and it leads to marriage. Or they've been married. This could be even be a reconciliation because this is going back. You know, you could be going back to your ex. <laughs> I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, right? But I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, i got to be honest with you here. So some of you may be, you know, going back. Or your ex may be coming back to you. I don't know. Somebody has something in their hand, though. So some of you, somebody is probably getting proposed to or whatever. They're going back to their person that they were married to before anyway i see a major new beginning here this is a major new beginning okay i know a lot of you don't want to hear about going back but i, I mean i gotta be honest with you but this is a major new beginning this is starting a new chapter in your life something that is going to lead you towards love okay so be prepared get prepared you could have somebody unexpectedly come into your life you don't even see them coming this is this is brought. I mean, this is Cupid's arrow. It's like this is Cupid bringing two people together that are perfect, perfect, perfect. 
if you haven't met this person, you may meet them at some sort of gathering, okay? You're at some sort of party, some sort of whatever. It could be a church gathering, could be any kind of gathering, whatever. Some kind of celebration. You're at this celebration, you don't expect it, you don't see it coming. Boom! There's an instant attraction, okay? Instant. So, and this could be somebody that you've known before. Because it keeps seeing going back. I don't know what the hell that means. But for some of you, it is going back. Um, somebody is making a decision <laughs> to go after happiness because they've been in an unhappy relationship. Now, this unhappy relationship doesn't have to be with your love partner. This is a relationship. This could be with your mother. It could be with your family members. It could be with your siblings. Somebody has been in an unhappy relationship or an unhappy situation where their energy has, you know, it's like their energy has been stolen. There's no desire. That's like there's no ambition. There's no drive. There's no... Yeah, it's like they've lowered their vibration. It's like there's a low vibrational energy here. Somebody's stolen your energy. And it's just like, ah, i got to make this decision. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to go after happiness. It's like they see this. They see the light. They, they see that, that, you know, there's an opportunity for, there is an opportunity for extreme happiness here. There is with a soulmate. And I feel as though somebody is making the decision to go after this soulmate or to marry this soulmate. You know, this is my soulmate. We're going to get married. If you are, you know, in that type of relationship. If you are single, if you are single, you you, you probably may meet somebody spontaneously, okay? You may meet somebody spontaneously out of the blue that you, you know, can't resist, okay? You can't resist. Um... <laughs> Mm. This has this is resisting though. Somebody has been it's funny, I said you can't resist. Somebody has been resisting change. They have been resisting letting go, but like I said, you can't resist because we have this new beginning here. We have this chapter that is coming to an end, one phase of your life. Somebody has been holding on to a dead end for too long. That's what we got here. That is what we got here. And it's like now it's time to release it. It's time to let go of this. It's time to heal. It's time to release this pain. Time to let go of this pain. Time to let go of this past hurts and let love in. And, you know, it's time to just be happy. Somebody's making a cup. They are. They're seeing things through a new light. Seeing things through a new light. They're seeing things through a new perspective. You know, they've been resisting change, but this resisting change has caused chaos and imbalance. And I think we got this person that is now like, you know, I got to be practical here. I got, it's time for me to transition. It's time for my new life. It's time. And this person gives birth to a new life. So I really feel like we have a new new beginning here. A big one. I do. I think that we do have a new beginning here. This is a blessing in disguise. It is. It is. Somebody's about to take their power back. And go after happiness and, and release a painful situation. It's like I'm making a decision to take that next step. And I think it's because they're presented with this beautiful option. It's beautiful. It's just, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's so compatible. It's so, this is love heals. It's so healing. Somebody's been in a, in a situation where there's no emotional fulfillment, right? There's no follow through or whatever. There's just, it's no, it's not love. And it's like they're giving it up. It's stolen my energy for long enough. I don't want, I, I can't do this anymore. It, it, it's brought your vibration down. It really, really has. Somebody has been in a situation that has really 
stolen their energy in a huge, huge, huge way. There's been some self-loathing. There's been some depression. There's been some sadness. There's been, why me? Why is this happening to me? And I think that There's been no vision, okay? There's no vision here. Somebody has lost their, their creativity. They've lost their drive. And it's just like, I, 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 nothing to be happy about, you know, that kind of energy. And it's like all of a sudden, this person picks you right up. They pick you up. They, 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 they show up and they pick you up. They, that's what it is. They pick you up. So Aries, be prepared for an unexpected oh, commitment to come right into your life, okay? So if you are in a relationship now, your commitment could be stepping it up to the next level. Say you're in a happy relationship right now, you could be getting engaged or you could be getting married. If you are single, you are probably going to be meeting somebody unexpectedly, completely unexpectedly. You don't even see this coming, but the minute you see them, you're going to be like... Wow, you are it. So that's if you're single. If you are in a relationship now, it really feels like, for some of you, well, it goes both ways because some of you are getting out of a relationship where there's no love. Okay, there's there's no. That's what this is. Some of you are removing yourself from a situation where there's no emotional fulfillment. I mean, that's all there is to it. And, and that could happen because you meet this other person for some of you, okay? Just saying, you probably held on to this. Maybe you've held on to somebody from your past, like I said, for quite some time. And all of a sudden, this person shows up in your life and you're like, this is it. I, I know this is it. You know? So I gotta let go of this past person because I know this is it. So for some of you, that's it. That's what this is. Um, yeah, there's there's love here. There is definitely love. Whether 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 whoever it is for you, there's love here, and it's a soulmate connection. It's meant to be. So however that resonates with you, if you haven't met this person yet, get ready. Get ready. That's what I see. I feel like there's the a relationship is a, is either about to blossom or it's about to step it up to the next level. It's like you're going to receive some sort of reward. I mean, the empress gives a reward. You get a reward for the pain. It's like it's a miracle. It is a miracle. This is your reward for all the pain that you have endured. You're about to start a new chapter, a new journey, and it's something prominent. One phase of your life has come to an end, and that is no joke. And a new one is about to begin. Begin. I mean, that's what we got here. And it does involve a soulmate. I can't, I can't say that, that, that it is. Your, your next phase of your life is about to begin with a soulmate. Whether you're with somebody or not, you've got a soulmate connection here that is meant to be. Expect the unexpected. Now, I don't need the fives to see that. This is love. That could lead to marriage. A contract happiness but this is releasing releasing the pain and you have to she has to release pain as well to get the blessing so some sort of pain needs to be released that you have been holding on to whatever this is it's going to be stable solid secure It's something that you can really build upon, put it that way. Extreme abundance. 
is yours for the taking. So get prepared. Get prepared. <laughs> That's what I got, Aries. I'm not going to go any further. Your this is she 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 delivers a blessing right to your life. Whew, here you go. Good luck. <laughs>